Ever wondered how to perfectly describe a day in your life? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the art of painting your daily routine with words, a skill that comes in handy for the ILTS speaking task one. Picture this. The sun's first rays peek through your window and you're startled awake by the shrill ring of your alarm at seven in the morning. Stretching the sleep away, you welcome the day, ready to conquer what lies ahead. Next, you freshen up, the cool water from the morning shower washing away any remnants of drowsiness. Dressing up in your favorite outfit, you feel a boost of confidence, ready to tackle whatever the day throws your way. Breakfast is next on the agenda. A hearty meal of scrambled eggs, fresh fruits, and a cup of steaming coffee fuels you up. By eight, you're out the door, the morning air bracing against your face as you take a 20-minute walk to work, letting your mind wander and plan the day ahead. Work is a whirlwind of meetings, brainstorming sessions, and looming project deadlines. But come noon, you seek respite in the tranquility of a nearby park. A packed lunch in hand, you recharge amidst nature's serenity. Post-work, it's time to prioritize your well-being. Maybe you hit the gym, or perhaps you head to the local grocery store, picking up fresh ingredients for dinner. Back home, the kitchen becomes your sanctuary, where you unwind as you cook a nourishing meal. The day ends with a calming cup of herbal tea and some quiet reflection. You jot down a to-do list for the next day, a ritual that helps you sleep soundly and greet the next day with a fresh perspective. Remember, describing your daily routine for ILTS. Speaking task one is more than a rundown of mundane tasks. It's about showcasing your personality, your energy, and how you effectively manage your time. Use vivid verbs, descriptive adjectives, and a varied vocabulary to breathe life into your routine. With a little practice and the tips we've shared, you'll be painting a picture of your daily routine with words like a pro in no time. So conquer the ilts. Speaking task one with confidence and remember, every day is a story waiting to be told. Hello everyone. This is a video covering the topic of daily routine in the IELTS speaking part one style questions. There are a wide range of subtopics related to daily routine, and these questions and answers can help you prepare. Learn how to enrich your IELTS speaking part one responses by seamlessly integrating conditional tenses, modal verbs, comparisons, and idioms to provide grammatically complex answers, particularly when talking about your daily routine. Then you'll need to develop your own example sentences, practice and record yourself speaking. Let's dive in. If you find value in today's video, please subscribe. And for more videos like this, please leave a like. This channel is the home of ELTS guides for tips about how to achieve higher ELTS scores. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Why are idioms important? Using idioms correctly in the IELTS speaking test can increase your score by demonstrating your proficiency, cultural understanding, and ability to speak naturally. The Speaking Band 9 descriptor for lexical resource reads, Sustained use of accurate idiomatic language. It also highlights, Topic development is fully coherent and appropriately extended. Grammatical structures are precise and accurate at all times. You can download these descriptors from the website listed. You'll see a link in the description of the video. What are English idioms? These are words that together have a meaning that is different from the dictionary definitions of individual words. The idiom, get into the swing of things, means to become accustomed to a new situation or to get into the routine or rhythm of something. For example, after relocating to a new city, it initially took me a couple of weeks to adapt and find my rhythm, but now I feel at ease and have gotten into the swing of things. In this context, the phrase, have gotten into the swing of things, conveys the speaker's journey of getting used to their new surroundings and establishing a consistent routine. Let's divide the daily routine into four subtopics. We'll select morning routine, exercise and leisure, work or study routine, and importance of daily routine. As you learned in earlier videos, we search for vocabulary to answer IELTS speaking part one questions related to these subtopics for the daily routine. We use idioms to enhance our scores, as well as transitional words and phrases highlighted in red to create powerful links between ideas. Additionally, we will use conditional tenses, modal verbs, and comparisons to provide a grammatically complex answer. Let's now analyze some answers to sample questions that can help you prepare for the IELTS Speaking Part 1 test. What is your daily routine like during the work week? 
Well, my daily routine during the work week usually involves waking up at 7 a.m. and getting ready for work. I then commute to the office, where I engage in the daily grind of meetings, emails, and project deadlines. Despite the routine nature of my work, I find ways to stay motivated and productive. The idiom daily grind refers to the repetitive and monotonous nature of one's daily work or activities. In the given answer, the candidate effectively incorporates the idiom to express the routine and unexciting aspects of their work. The use of the idiom demonstrates a high level of language proficiency and an ability to convey meaning in an idiomatic manner. The answer also includes suitable transition words such as well, and then, along with time frequency verbs like usually, enhancing the fluency and coherence of the response. Additionally, the use of conditional sentences and comparisons, such as despite the routine nature of my work, I find ways to stay motivated and productive, further showcases the candidate's grammatical complexity and ability to express nuanced ideas. Daily grind of coffee, daily grind of rock and roll. Sometimes I think life around me, this daily grind, should stop. What routine do you follow on work days? Well, on days when I have work commitments, I'm always on the go from the moment I wake up. I usually start by quickly checking my emails while having breakfast, and then it's a continuous hustle, balancing meetings and project work. Even during lunch, I often find myself discussing work with colleagues, so there's rarely a slow moment. The use of on the go effectively conveys the busyness of the speaker's workday. Transitional phrases like from the moment, the time frequency words usually, and even during provide a natural flow to the narrative, connecting different parts of the daily routine. The response uses varied sentence structures and vocabulary appropriate for demonstrating complexity and fluency. This answer meets band 9 criteria by demonstrating fluent and coherent communication, effective use of idiomatic language, and the ability to construct complex sentences with varied grammar and vocabulary. The response shows the speaker's ability to discuss their routine in an extended, detailed manner while incorporating the given idiom naturally. So we've been on the go ever since, and I've never been more fulfilled. You're tired. You've been on the go for days. I'm always on the go, and I can't stay in one place too long. What fun activity do you include in your daily schedule? Well, I often grab a bite with friends during my lunch break. This casual activity not only satiates my hunger, but also offers a refreshing break from work. If the weather's nice, we might even opt for a picnic in the park, which always adds a pleasant twist to our day. The idiom, grab a bite, is seamlessly incorporated into the response, illustrating the test taker's adept use of English idioms, a key component for attaining a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test. This idiom vividly describes a common, informal dining activity, enhancing the conversational tone of the answer. The modal verb might introduces a conditional possibility, showing the speaker's flexibility and adaptability in their daily activities. The comparison between a regular lunch and a picnic in the park adds depth to the answer by contrasting these two scenarios. The pause for thinking word well, linking phrases this casual activity, and if the weather's nice effectively structure the response, introducing the topic, explaining the routine activity, and presenting an alternative option. This strategic use of idiomatic language, combined with modal verbs and comparisons, meets the band 9 criteria for idiomatic usage and comprehensive answer development in the IELTS speaking test. Hey Burroughs, you wanna grab a bite? Why don't you wash up, come by my place, and we can grab a bite to eat? How do you usually spend your leisure time during the day? Well, I often live life in the fast lane, even during my leisure time. If I'm not engaging in high-energy sports like mountain biking, I might be planning my next adventure trip. It's a way for me to maintain a thrilling and active lifestyle. The idiom in the fast lane effectively captures the essence of an exhilarating lifestyle, perfectly matching the question about leisure activities. This idiomatic expression signifies a high level of language proficiency, crucial for a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test. The conditional structure, if I'm not engaging, I might be planning, introduces a hypothetical situation, demonstrating the speaker's diverse interests and spontaneity in leisure activities.
The modal verb might indicates a possibility, showcasing the speaker's flexibility in choosing activities. The contrastive phrase it's a way for me to serves as a transition, linking the actions to their purpose, thereby providing depth to the response. This strategic use of idiomatic language, combined with conditional sentences, modal verbs, and contrasting elements, aligns with the criteria for Band 9 idiomatic usage and extended answer development in the IELTS speaking test. How do you manage all your daily activities? Well, maintaining a balance is key for me. Even with a demanding job, I make sure to live life in the fast lane by dedicating time to my passions like speed chess and quick runs in the evening. It's not just work. It's about energizing my day with activities that keep me sharp and spirited. The idiom in the fast lane is used to describe a lifestyle that is full of energy and activity, which relates to the question about balancing work and personal life. This usage exemplifies an advanced language ability appropriate for a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test. The verb make sure expresses determination in maintaining this balance, and the conditional mood and even with a demanding job, I make sure to suggests a habit despite challenging circumstances. The pause for thinking word, well, and the linking phrases even with, and it's not just work, it's about. Smoothly connect the different aspects of the candidate's routine, illustrating a well-rounded lifestyle. Your head was in the fast lane on your big salary. So how's life in the fast lane? Does your daily routine change sometimes? Well, yes. Some days it feels like I'm working round the clock. If I'm not attending meetings or lectures, I'm usually engrossed in preparing reports or studying. It's a constant juggle between tasks, but I try to manage it efficiently. The idiom round the clock aptly describes a non-stop or very busy schedule, directly addressing the question about the test taker's routine on work or study days. This usage demonstrates an advanced level of English, indicative of a high band score on the IELTS speaking test. The conditional phrase, if I'm not attending, I'm usually introduces hypothetical scenarios, reflecting a typical day filled with various activities. The verb try suggests an effort to balance multiple tasks, showcasing the test taker's adaptability and time management skills. The pause for thinking word well, and the linking phrases, it's a constant juggle, and, but I try to effectively structure the answer, providing a coherent flow and logical progression. The use of idiomatic language, conditional structure, and modal verbs aligns with the criteria for Band 9 idiomatic usage and extended answer development in the IELTS speaking test. We move into your house, set up the uh, round-the-clock surveillance, and uh, send out for pizza. That's five years' worth of sleepless nights and round-the-clock research. How would you describe your morning routine on a typical day? Well, every morning I rise and shine at 6 a.m. sharp. If it's a weekday, I'll start with some light exercise or meditation before heading to work. The mornings are crucial for me. They set the tone for my entire day. Idiom rise and shine effectively describes the act of waking up early and energetically, directly addressing the question about the test taker's morning routine. This idiomatic expression demonstrates an advanced level of language proficiency, contributing to a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test. The conditional structure, if it's a weekday, I'll start, introduces a typical action based on a specific condition, reflecting the test taker's structured approach to mornings. The use of the verb will indicate a planned or habitual action, further emphasizing the routine aspect of the mornings. Pause for thinking word, well, the linking phrases if it's a weekday, and the mornings are crucial are effectively used to introduce the topic, differentiate between weekday and weekend routines, and emphasize the importance of the morning routine, contributing to the coherence and logical flow of the answer. This strategic use of idiomatic language, combined with conditional sentences and modal verbs, aligns with the criteria for Band 9 idiomatic usage and extended answer development in the IELTS speaking test. Rise and shine, chop chop. Time to rise and shine. What activity typically energizes you in the morning? Well, to get a jump start on my day, I always begin with a brisk jog. It clears my mind and sets a positive tone for the rest of the day.
It's not merely a workout, it's my strategy to stay focused and productive. The idiom get a jump start indicates initiating the day with a burst of energy, directly responding to the inquiry about a morning activity that energizes. This phrase demonstrates a high level of English proficiency, contributing to a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test. The time frequency adverb always suggests a habitual action, reinforcing the significance of the routine. The contrasting phrase not merely a workout, it's my strategy contrasts the physical benefit with the mental advantage, showing a deeper understanding of the activity's impact. This use of idiomatic language, habitual actions through time frequency adverbs, and a contrasting structure meets the criteria for a band 9 score by illustrating the candidate's ability to articulate complex ideas in a fluent and coherent manner. We just wanted to get a jump start on all the packing. It's going to be fine. Did Brad leave to get a jump start on inoculating babies in Burma? How do you manage your time on busy mornings? Well, on particularly hectic mornings, I find myself working against the clock to get everything done. This usually means multitasking while ensuring I don't skip breakfast. It's a balancing act between speed and efficiency. The idiom working against the clock aptly describes the urgency of completing tasks quickly, which aligns well with the topic of time management on busy mornings. This phrase showcases a sophisticated use of language, indicative of a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test. The conditional nature of the situation, on particularly hectic mornings, highlights the speaker's adaptive strategies under time constraints. The linking phrase, it's a balancing act, contrasts the need for speed with maintaining efficiency, demonstrating the candidate's ability to compare and contrast concepts articulately. This response, with its idiomatic language, conditional context, and comparison, meets the criteria for a band 9 score by illustrating the test taker's capacity for detailed, nuanced communication. We're up against the clock here, girls, so if there's nothing to talk about, we'll just put you back where we found you. Excuse me, but we're trying to do a quiz here, and it's against the clock. Can you tell me about how you start a new hobby or activity? Well, initially it takes a bit of effort to get into the swing of things when starting a new hobby. I usually begin by setting aside some time each morning to practice, which gradually becomes a part of my routine. It's about finding that rhythm and making it a natural part of my day. The idiom get into the swing of things is used to describe the process of becoming accustomed to a new activity or hobby, fitting the question's focus on beginning new routines. This expression demonstrates a high level of English, appropriate for a band 9 score in the IELTS speaking test, as it captures the nuanced challenge of incorporating a new activity into one's life. The verb takes indicates the necessity of effort, while the phrase setting aside some time each morning reflects a conditional habit linked to the successful adoption of a new hobby. The pause for thinking word, well, and the linking phrases I usually begin by and it's about effectively structure the response, showing a progressive transition from starting something new to integrating it into daily life. Just trying to get into the swing of things, mother. Marvelous. Well, then you'll be riding in the hunt with us, won't you? Remember, the key is understanding the idiom's meanings to use them appropriately. Leave your questions in the comments below, and I will respond. I'm here to support your journey to IELTS success. If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, please contact me at verbling.com slash teachers slash Marie.